How's it going everybody? In this video I'm going to be going over how often you should change your rhyme schemes uh, within like a verse or within a song or how often these schemes need to be changed up. So, uh, like I said, in this video I'm going to be going over a question that I got around changing up your rhyme schemes, how often you need to do that. Uh, you have to bear with me a little bit, I'm a little sick still, still very, very nasally. So, the core of the question is how often you need to change your rhyme schemes. Um, and that actual question is a little bit off base, mainly because rhyme schemes it, it are basically just a mapping of rhymes within your verses, right? So, a very, very complex rhyme scheme or a very, very simple rhyme scheme are still contained under a rhyme scheme, right? So it's basically how often you repeat certain patterns and how you map out certain patterns. But I have an idea of what the question actually is, which is basically, you know, do you need to stick with, you know, if you start with A, B, A, B, do you, do you do that for, for all your verses? Do you do that for the entire verse? Or how can you sort of mix that up? And the core answer, which is not super interesting, is basically that you can do whatever you want, right? Um, you don't have to maintain a certain set of schemes. Now, doing something like having some parallel schemes, right? Like if you start with A, B, C, A, B in the first line and you can carry that for five lines or you want to do that the first two lines and then the first two lines of the next verse, things like that can be really interesting and, and create some really cool parallels in the way that you use rhymes. But there is really no hard and fast rules. In fact, it's one of the things that's, that's kind of fun about writing rap is using and playing around with these different combinations of rhymes to make different sorts of sounds and find things that sound cool. Now, one of the elements that you're going to see in the vast majority of rap is at least end rhymes, right? You're going to find at least most lines uh, rhyme at the end with the line preceding them or after them. Uh, this really only applies to couplets though, right? Only sets of two lines. Beyond that, there is all kinds of variability and flexibility in how you choose to do this. Um, one of the strongest things or most common things you're going to see are internal rhymes along with some of those end rhymes, whether it fits with, with the same um, end rhyme, right, like A, 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 A within a couplet or A, B, A, B. Um, doing things like that are very, very common, but there are no hard and fast rules. Um, doesn't have to stay the same within the verse or between verses. But again, doing some of that parallel structure can sound really cool. Now, there is the occasional time where rappers will use internal rhymes only and not end rhymes, which can make for sort of an interesting sound, or at the very least, really trip people up. So that's kind of a, a, a fun thing to sort of play with. It's, it's not necessarily something that most people use a lot, just because it is so uh, unsettling to the ear. And not, by unsettling, I just mean unexpected, right? So when you use it in a way that adds a little bit of spice or something, it can really uh, get people engaged. But when you do something like this uh, all the time, a lot of people are going to be turned off by that. Again, same thing I always say. It's all about, you know, what sort of art you want to create. So it doesn't really matter how other people feel. Um, but I'm just kind of letting you know some of the effects that it will have. Another thing to really think about is while you can use sort of just an A, 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 B, B rhyme scheme, right? Just sort of doing these end rhymes. Um, that does work. But it's going to come off pretty simplistic. You're going to want to start... Uh, working on your technical skill and mixing in sort of internal rhymes or adding more complex multi-syllable rhymes uh, to make your lyricism pop out a little bit more. Uh, unless you're going to use a bunch of other figurative language or poetic techniques to really deepen the message or make, make it pop a little bit more, right? Just having this really um, monotonous sort of end rhymes, very simple single syllable stuff is one of the things that you see from, from very, very early rappers and the vast majority tend to evolve out of that because it's so easy that you don't really see any skill coming out of it unless you're able to add some of these other elements, right? Like uh, you hear this a lot in freestyles. People who have just started freestyling will, will do stuff like, hey, I'm one of the best. You can never beat me. Put me to the test. You know, like it's, it's this very slow um, very rigid type of thing, and it just doesn't sound as good. So, again, no rules. You don't have to use any particular rhyme scheme, um, but having some, some extra internal rhymes and whatnot will make it stand out a little bit more. If you're not going to do that, at the very least, look, look at figurative language, look at poetic techniques, metaphors, similes, punchlines, all that kind of stuff that will make your verse pop a little bit more because it's going to be more engaging. Rap definitely draws on rhyming a lot, and it's what people focus on the most. So... 
it's going to be something that you want to kind of build your skill with, but you can use a lot of other tools, right? Rhyming is not the only thing in your arsenal as you sort of create this art. So hopefully that answers the question, helps out a little bit. That's all I've got for this video. As always, if you have any questions, comments, topics you want me to cover, throw them in the box below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. And I'm going to start trying to make content again. I know it's been a long time, uh, but, you know, just going back to the roots and, and making the kinds of stuff that I was making originally. So that's it. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to like and subscribe as it really helps. I've also got a second channel, How to Happy, which focuses on health and well-being. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.